this is first session on entity framework core and we are going to start from dotnet core and in dotnet core we are going to uh, use entity framework core inside a console application and then we will after that uh, we will see how we can use entity framework core in web application in wpf or windows form application so basically there are two approaches uh, in entity framework core uh, first one is the code first and second one is the database first we are going to start with code first approach uh, code first approach is the one in which we create our poco classes and um, the, the entity framework uh, tool create the database for us through migration so let's let's ha have a look how we can do that and i already have created an uh, you know empty project uh, and a, a solution already you know post on uh, github you can find the link in the description so in entity framework core we have divided you know uh, the core first approach into three parts first one is the beginner one we will see you know the main and basic things in entity framework core then we will go on to the you know advanced level and then we will add a project for expert level and we will try to put uh, all our findings uh, as an examples in those projects so uh, this is an empty you know class uh, and let's start with uh, by adding some packages that are required for entity framework i will go to here and i will search for entity framework core and you can see that there are a lot of packages so we need one package for uh, entity framework core dot sql server right uh, let me install it as i have uh, .NET core 3.1 uh, so i will go for 3.1.5 uh, there are you know uh, entity framework is compatible with a lot of databases like uh, mysql PostgreSQL, SQLite. So, because I am using the SQL Server, so I am installing this package, you know, to communicate with my database. Okay, once it's done, we will then install the Entity Framework Core Dot Tools package, which is also required for you know adding migrations and you know scaffolding the database you can see the purposes we can you know run those commands by this package okay uh, both of them are installed and you can check by you know editing your uh, cs project file okay uh, let's come back and after that let me add a database folder or let's call it data and let's add uh, our entity and let me call it let's add a folder inside of it entities and inside oops and we will then uh, let's you know use the blog example so a single blog has you know many posts and each post could have many comments right so let's name it post and I am dragging this one into my entities folder right and let's add some properties inside it and first one will be the primary key 
so by default entity framework you know uh, take the uh, property with name of id or you know uh, property which is you know ending by id uh, string so it will take it as a primary key so on other way is we can add the key attribute here to specify uh, explicitly so we will see that key attribute later in this you know series so first one was the id which will be our primary key and the second one was uh, will be the title of the post right okay let's uh, make it simple i will only go with these two properties and the next entity we will need is comments so i will add a comment class here and a comment will have an id and a body right and uh, okay or two entries are prepared uh, next thing will be to add a context class so context class will be the you know uh, will act as our database reference object which will you know uh, which will have the db set references to our database tables so let's name it um, blog db context let me make it public and it should be now it should extend from database on uh, db context right like this okay so this is the class form entry framework core which will you know represent the reference to our database so the tab table representation will be like public db set and first table will be our post and we will name it as post so this is a convention i use you know to use singular for the entity and the plural for the uh, it, it's, its property as a reference so next thing is comment and we will name it comments right so yeah our database context is ready the next thing is to add migration and to you know uh, we will add migration through through you know package manager console and to you know add the migration we need to you know override on configuration me method of this uh, db context class so we will going to override on configuring right and we will remove that uh, you know base uh, implementation and we will use options uh, builder dot use SQL server and inside of this we will use our connection string right and like this and we will use server is localhost right and database is equal to uh, let's say log db right it will create it uh, by this migration currently we don't have any db with this name and the next thing is the did 
information which is true right and uh, we will add multiple active sets true So this is a kind of you know, default connection string we normally use with the integrated security so that you know we can access our SQL server. So I think we are ready to add our first migration. Uh, to add a migration the command is add dash migration and followed by the name of the migration I will name it init. Right, so a migration has been added uh, for you know it is creating a comments table, a post table, and yeah. So to apply this migration to you know our database, we will use uh, update database and press enter. Right, you can see that migration has been applied, and if we, if I show you the databases and I refresh, you can see we have log db here created, and we have comments and logs, uh, sorry, comments and post tables as well. So uh, we have migration setup, we have you know database ready and next thing is to utilize these tables from our program class so to do that what we will do is we will query our contact class and we will first create its object uh, db context is equal to new um, blog DB context like this, right? And uh, we will first thing is we need to add a post. So to add it, we will create a post object, new post, and here we will add. Don't need to add uh, ID because it's you know. Uh, primary key and uh, by default it's auto incremented it will add by you know database itself we will add a title uh, my first post right and uh, thing I forgot is to add the relations so a post can have many comments okay I will add a collection of comment and let's name it comments right and it's good approach to in initialize this collection inside the constructor of that entity and to do that we need to use hash set so hash set is you know a kind of structure which uh, prevent the duplicate entities so this help us to you know get the db level errors and I will add it comment like this okay so and a comment could be applied to a single post only so I will add public int post id and this will be the foreign key of the post object so this is a default convention uh, and if you you know understand it and I will add public 
post post okay so this is our relation and this is the property of this table right so uh, to apply this apply this change we need to add another migration so i will name it added relations okay so you can see that uh, relations has been added the index has been you know created and we then will apply this migration to the database so it's applied and if i show you the design show the design right and you can see the index has been added the foreign key has been added so this is how we can control the relations from our entities without you know touching the database so now we can add a comment against a post inside our program.cs class this in this way because we already have initialized that comments uh, you know collection inside our constructor so what we will do is we will add post object dot comments dot add because it's already initialized new comment and let's give it the body is equal to this is my first comment right and let's add this post object inside our db context dot add post object like this and at the end we will do db context dot save changes async method like this and we will you know definitely going to add a weight here and we will make this main method async because we are calling async method from inside this main method so i have used discard here because normally save changes return the uh, number of records updated uh, i am not interested right now in this so i will just discard the uh, output of this you know uh, method so let's run it to see if it has created okay it has run successfully let's see our database okay you can see that my first post is added and if you see the comments you can see its comment is already uh, also added so that's how we can you know create a context we can add migration that will be applied to our database and database will be created and all design will be handled from our uh, you know uh, poco class our entity and this is how we can add a record inside our database uh, in the next episode we will see how we can uh, query that record to get results and show them uh, you know on the console so till then uh, have a good day bye bye